Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Debrek. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sagheer Palace the U.S. Chairman of Joint Chiefs of Staff Mark Milley and his accompanying delegation on the occasion of their visit to the kingdom. His Majesty welcomed the guests, hailing the deep-rooted and historic relations between Bahrain and the U.S. that are based on decades of mutual respect and coordination. He noted the continuous development of bilateral cooperation, especially in the military and defense fields. His Majesty hailed the U.S. administration's vital role and efforts in supporting the regional security security and stability asserting the kingdom's support to all international efforts and endeavors. The two sides also discussed the latest regional developments and topics of mutual interest. For his part, the U.S. Chairman of Joint Chiefs of Staff expressed appreciation for the military cooperation between the two countries and His Majesty's keenness on bolstering cooperation with the U.S. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Ghadibiya Palace. Following this session, the Cabinet Secretary General Dr. Yasser bin Isa Al Nasser issued the following statement. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, hailed the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa of the Albus Line 6 expansion project at Aluminium, Bahrain. His Royal Highness noted the importance of the project industrially, economically and developmentally and in providing quality job opportunities for national caterers as well as increasing the kingdom's capability to compete in the field of aluminum industry or industry regionally and internationally, which reflects the government's direction to build a diverse economy according to initiatives that translate Bahrain's 2030 economic vision and reinforces its principles that are based on sustainability, competitiveness and fairness. The cabinet hailed the success of Manama Dialogue, where His Royal Highness the Crown Prince deputized Deputy Premier His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mbarak Al Khalifa to open. His Royal Highness praised the constructive and fruitful discussions of this international event, which was organized by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, which included the most important security challenges facing the region and the world. It also highlighted Bahrain's interest in regional and international dialogue and security affairs. His Royal Highness highlighted the success of Julia Arabia 2019, which was held under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and inaugurated by Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness hailed in achievements in the commercial investment and tourism fields. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism made a statistical presentation on the activities of the exhibition in terms of visitors exhibiting companies and sales and purchases. The Crown Prince also hailed the outstanding success of the Bahrain International Trophy Horse Race, which reflects Bahrain's capabilities to host such important events. In an effort to preserve the environment, combat the causes of air pollution and treat its effects, His Royal Highness directed to monitor air quality in the kingdom, ensure its consistency with international standards by measuring air pollution indicators, ensuring that they are at international safe levels, identifying sources of air pollution and addressing them, and developing policies and procedures to reduce them. 
His Royal Highness appointed uh, the Supreme Council for the Environment to cooperate and coordinate with the ministries and government authorities concerned. Based on the recommendation of the Board of the Civil Service Bureau led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the Cabinet agreed on the executive regulations of the Diplomatic and Consular Corps, which govern appointments and promotions. In light of the Civil Service Bureau led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the Cabinet approved the list of benefits for the Diplomatic and Consular Corps. The Cabinet agreed to allow the Salmania Medical Complex to seek assistance from doctors who engage in private practice as per the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister. The Cabinet agreed to modify the labor regulations that govern the board of the National Space Science Agency. The Cabinet then examined four ministerial reports by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs on Russia, the Ministry of Health on the World Health Conference, the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism on the Industrial Cooperation Committee, the GCC Cooperation Committee in Muscat, the Forum of Tourism Security in al Ahsa, and participation in the Dubai International Air Show, and a fourth report by the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs on China-based International Youth Innovation Conference. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, received in his office at the Ministry's General Court the Deputy Assistant Secretary for Arabian Gulf Affairs in the Bureau of Near Eastern Affairs at the United States Department of State, Timothy Lederking, in the presence of the United States Ambassador to Bahrain, Justin Sabrell. The Minister of Foreign Affairs welcomed Lederking, expressing pride at the deep rooted bilateral cooperation between Bahrain and the U.S. He added that such cooperation is constantly developed developing at the political, security and economic levels, thus reflecting the keenness of both countries to constantly find new means of cooperation and continue mutual coordination towards regional and international issues and enhance the strategic alliance for their joint interests. He also expressed appreciation for the United States' commitment to work with its allies to establish peace and security in the region. For his part, uh, Lender King expressed pleasure to have uh, met with the Minister of Foreign Affairs, hailing the distinguished level of relations between the Kingdom and the U.S. at all levels. He also expressed appreciation for the Kingdom's policies and its endeavors to enhance peace and security. Labor and Social Development Minister Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamidan met with Chief Executive of the Information and Government Authority, the IGA, Mohammed Ali Al Qaid. They reviewed the e services provided by the ministry and the means of developing them, including the electronic registration for job applications. During the meeting, Hamidan was briefed on the progress of the e registration system for employment services, which is expected to be launched early next year, 2020, in the efforts of increasing the efficiency of employment services, reduce the the workload of employees and facilitate services to citizens. In its first phase, the new system will provide services for job seekers electronically, including registration, updating data, booking and rescheduling of the introductory program, scheduling interviews for recruitment counselors, as well as searching and applying for vacancies and viewing requests for interview appointments. In this regard, Hamidan noted that this new system comes within the framework of completing the implementation of an integrated electronic system of the ministry. For his part, Al-Qaid affirmed that the launch of the new electronic system comes in line with the current approach of the authority towards the development of artificial intelligence applications in the government sectors. The National Security Advisor and Commander of the Royal Guard, His Highness Major General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, patronized at Isa Air Base a special reception and honoring of participants in the Special Duty Force Group participating in Operation Restore Hope in Yemen as part of the Saudi led Arab Coalition Forces. The Royal Guard Commander delegated Royal Guard Deputy Commander Major General Hamad Al Khalifa Al Naimi to receive and honor the Special Duty Force Group. The Royal Guard Deputy Commander delivered the appreciation medals granted by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander, to a number of officers, NCOs and personnel of the BDF-affiliated Special Duty Force in appreciation of their patriotic efforts and great role in supporting the brotherly Yemeni people's rights. 
He lauded their high morale spirits, professionalism and discipline in the performance of their noble mission. Senior BDF officers and relatives of the participants were also present. The President of the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities and Commissioner General of the Bahrain Pavilion, Sheikh Hamey bint Mohammed Al Khalifa, witnessed laying the foundation for the Bahrain Pavilion at the Dubai Expo 2020 site, along with Expo Executive Director Najib Al Ali and the Bahrain Ambassador to the UAE, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. Sheikh Hamey said that this represents a step forward towards establishing Bahrain's presence in one of the most prominent gatherings in the region. She added that Bahrain's participation comes as part of Bahrain strategy to contribute to world culture thanks to the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Sheikh May expressed her delight at laying the foundation of the Bahrain Pavilion which she said will offer a portal for the world to learn about the kingdom as cultural and civilizational contributions.